the final percent. The final percent. The final percent. All right, I am live at the Massive Momentum event in Castle Rock, Colorado, and uh, I was lucky enough to get invited to speak at the event for, with Doug Wood. If you noticed, I had different intro music. That's because we are doing a collaborative podcast today. Isn't that right, Doug? Dude, this is awesome. It's like a co-hosting of the podcast. Like, yeah. It's the final percent and the real Doug Wood, like, clash. Yes. Well, I mean, not really cl- augment one another. That's right. Multiply. Come together. Yeah, the, com- the, com- the coming together. Um, we're just, uh, we're, well, number one, I'm excited because uh, I've, uh, I've been really following you since we met at uh, GrowthCon 2, but we kind of saw each other from afar in Instagram land from GrowthCon 1, yep. and now all of a sudden, I mean, you're doing your own events, and I mean, when I, and it, it's, it's funny, because I'm listening to this book from uh, Robert Kiyosaki um, that I just got, it's called Fake, and he's talking about how all of these people in today's day and age, you have fake teachers, you have fake money, you have all of these things. And so, unfortunately, we're getting this predisposition that people are going to be fake. And I'm telling you right now, if you, if, you, if you can come to one of these events, you should. Because there's a reason it says, the real Doug Wood. There's a reason. I mean, you, there's nothing fake about it. Well, you don't you know, know how what? to do that. I'm, I'm tired of fake, man. Uh, there's too much, there's too much real stuff going on behind the scenes, Greg, that we're all dealing with. And T and I literally, we just kind of called BS on the whole thing. And we're like, we have got to come together, start talking about the real issues in marriage, faith, finances, a little bit of everything. And, uh, let's start getting real. So tonight, I mean, people are starting to come in now, but tonight is literally about three hours of getting raw, getting real, talking about the stuff we're all going through yeah. uh, to where p- get people start winning again. Yeah, exactly. Well, and, it, and it's funny. I'll, I'll tell you, when I pulled up, I mean, your big old face on the side of the RV. Oh, yeah, man. Go big or go yeah, home. Come on. You just go all, all – you're all there. That's you're, right. You're all there. And, and uh, I, I just I, – I'm telling you, I have this whole idea behind some of the things that I do, which is you have to, instead of compete with one another, add an L. And complete one another. That's right. And push power towards power. And I get, when I see people going as big as this, when I pulled up, man, I got excited. Yeah. I got pumped. And I'm excited to, because, I mean, this is something that I'm, I'm going to be doing eventually. I'm, I'm sure this is not going to be our only event that we do together. I mean, you just become a tremendous yeah. friend. Yeah. Every, it seems like I was just, I was just telling Jeff, your, uh, your video and sound guy, how every time we talk, it seems like, like thoughts just multiply yeah and and it's we're on the same page and then we supercharge one another and those are the kind of people you know i read a book recently called church boy to millionaire i've heard of it and he said that uh, if you sit with the winners the conversation might be just a little bit different we have good conversations we have pretty good conversations <laughs> well, i didn't even know after i you know you and kayla came to phoenix about six months ago yeah five months ago and we met up there at the princess and we just had, yeah. had a couple cocktails and we had a good conversation and I showed you, told you about the book, the name of it, and you're like, "Oh my gosh, Doug! Do you know that I wrote Homeless to Hom- Millionaire?" Yeah, hom- Homeless Millionaire, and it and it's funny. I, I sh- we should make. I think I have like nine of those original books, and yeah. I, I think my wife might be bringing them. And I'm I'm gonna make the joke when I get on stage. I'm gonna say, "What do uh, what do you get when you put a homeless person with a church boy, a millionaire?" <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. That's why I love you and Kayla, man. You guys are vibing at a different frequency. And I wish people would understand that. The people that we're talking to, yeah. hanging out with, doing business with, going out to happy hour with, are the people that we're literally going to become more like. And I know yes. as cliche as it sounds, it's so freaking true. And since you and I have started yeah. hanging out the last year, like it's, it's amazing how we're, we're just like vibing, tribing together. We're doing yes. big things. And here we are hosting Massive Momentum tonight. You're coming yeah. to speak. I'm opening up for you to literally – to go unplug and be, be yeah. you, and uh, it's going to be a powerful night. Oh, I'm, and I'm excited because one of the things about you is you, don't, you never really know what you're going to get with Doug. And I, every time I talk to you, it's, it's such an amazing thing because there was, there was one time we were talking, and I think it was actually on my podcast. I called you. I interviewed you on my podcast. Yeah. And uh, you said, man, I'm, I'm taking notes right now. I hope your listeners are taking notes. And when you said you were taking notes, I looked down and I had already been taking notes of you talking. Right. 
And it's just funny how similar the, and everyone has their different roads and everyone has their different ways that they're going to get there. But there is this frequency that people operate on. And when, when that happens, you feel that kind of, I mean, I'm a music guy, so I mean, there's a harmonic frequency that happens when you meet the right people. That's right. You know? And, and that's why, like, I was, I was telling him, I said, you know, I love events like this because, look, we're either, we're going to get one of two kinds of people who show up here. We're going to get people who are doing really great things or people who are trying to get to where they can do really right. great things. I want to hang out with people yeah. like that. And mass, that's what Massive Momentum is about. It's for um, average people with above average desires. Greg, yeah. you're average. I'm average. But you know what's not average about us? Yeah. It's our desires for more. Our desires for a better marriage, bigger business, to make bigger impact in our communities. Exactly In right. this world. That's why we're doing podcasts like this. We don't get paid for this. Exactly. It's to literally add value to others. And uh, we're all on this journey together, man. Yeah. And, and well, and just, to, just so you guys know, uh, I guess we have a camera right here instead of me talking at the microphone. Like, But uh, just so you guys know, this is how similar Doug and I think. He walked in. It's 30 minutes until doors. And he goes, you want, you want to bang out a quick podcast? We both had all of our podcast stuff with us. We're always ready. That's right. Well, you know, you taught me to be ready a couple months ago. <laughs> you got to, yeah, man. Yeah, you showed me this stuff. And I'm like, man, this is, I could do this on the road. So you know what? We're, you know, because people that were on my last podcast, The Real Doug Wood, I did it in Boise. And sometimes I just get those, um, I call them passion moments. Yeah. To where you have to just do a podcast now. Yes. I walked in the door and I'm like, Greg, how often are you together where we have our equipment? Like, well, we'll always have our equipment, but together where we had a couple of minutes, like, yeah. no, you've got to just do it now. Cause when the spirit moves, it's like, do it now. Otherwise you'll miss the moment. Well, everything is action. And I think, I think one of the things that people, and I know that you probably had the same thing when you were trying to build your business and, and you're trying to let your desire speak to you enough to where you actually take action. But so many times people aren't taking action because they're waiting for everything to be perfect. And I want everyone to know that perfection is action. Right. Like, stop waiting for things to be just right. Yeah. Like, like, I loved in your book when you, uh, you were talking about the whole idea, because me and Kayla were actively trying to have a kid. And when you were talking about getting ready to uh, um, say yes to, to your wife and Phoenix was going to come right. into the, the world, and I just thought it was interesting because there are so many times in that where you're just like, well, I want things to be right and I want this. And then when you were like, it's never going to be Dude, right. I'm nine years in. I'm still waiting to be, for it to be right. <laughs> I, I mean, t seriously, get them stars to align because they will never freaking align. And that's yeah. why if people just understood that, it's like it, it's not going to be perfect. You're not going to wait to, okay, Monday, I'm going to really get serious yeah. about my health. No, you're not. No. It starts right today. Now. Just t do something. Go drink a glass of water. Put down the freaking Coke. Like, do something. Stop yeah, going through so many drive throughs Like, just take some action right now to move your life forward. Yeah, exactly right. And. And well, and that's the thing is people have this analysis paralysis thing. So they're just, well, I just, I want to, I want to figure out if it's right for me. And I want to figure, health? Is health right for you? No, trust me. You're going to really want to, you're going to want to have health in your life right. because it, it kind of lets you be here longer. You know, it's the only, only way to elongate your time on this earth. And, and so many people are, oh, well, I, I, uh, I eat out of, uh, out of frustration or stress eat or this, that, and the other. And it's just, you've got to just confront and contend for your health. That's contend right. is th a thing that I learned from you and your wife. And I've used it so many times and it's been so impactful for me. Yeah. Well, like, there's so many victims in life. And I think, I've, for, don't get me wrong. I want to be respectful. Bad things happen to good people, yeah. to all of us. Like, mm -hmm. you know, bad things happen, not just computers crash or, you know, Something happens. I'm talking car accidents, bad diagnoses. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're just dealt a bad hand or a bad family. But at some point, you have to wake up and stop being a victim. Exactly and stop right. giving that car accident that happened five years ago that changed my life forever. You're right. It did. And how are you going to embrace it? Mm -hmm. How are you going to embrace that obstacle and let mm -hmm. it become the way to where it's no longer your place of pain, but it becomes your place of rain, Greg? And I, mm. I have saw so many people get big wins when they're like, you know what? I'm not going to be a victim anymore. Yeah, dude, I'm going to take on. my power back. Yeah. Dude, that's, that's so awesome. And, and I think that it's, I think the, the negative side of things is really, really important. And, and here's why. If, if you have someone who won't cry with you and won't feel that pain, think about like your, your preacher. If he knows that you're going to hell, I would really like him to tell me that he thinks I'm going to hell with tears in his eyes mm. instead of a smile on his face. Right. So positivity is not everything. No. It's a big part of it. Right. It can change your mindset, but you have to, imb and I, man, I'm, I steal so much from you. I, I absolutely love it. You got to embrace that pain because it could be, become your place of rain. Like that's, that's huge, yeah. man. And that's, and that's the thing you have to understand is 
you get so you get just as much power in the positive as you do the negative if you have the right perception yeah. and you look at it the right way. And so I just and that's why like every time we get together, I get these new ways to look at things. Yeah. It's just it's just like putting on a set of glasses. You well, know? It, 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 there's two things I'm thinking about here is that it's going from a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset Absolutely. because look at you and I coming together. It's like you're like, oh, Doug, I get so much from you, and I'm thinking. I'm learning so much from you, Greg. It's called reciprocal mentorship. Yeah. And we don't, we're not in a world where we're in competition with anybody. And, you know, being a coach, being a health coach, I get a lot of people on my team coming to me like, oh, I got to talk to that person or, oh, I'm glad I'm I'm the first coach in this town because there's nobody else in the town. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's harder to be a coach where there's nobody around. Exactly You want to be in collaboration and partnership with people who are doing something because most people aren't doing anything. So quit looking at it as I got to get my in first or... Who, who's got this bigger, better? It doesn't exactly. matter. And that's get why, in collaboration. And that's why you get into completing instead of competing. And, and the thing that, the reason why that has become so big for me is I realized, especially with me on in colleges and stuff, I realized that the, the model of the way people learn is completely wrong because we are testing these students individually. Right. When everything on how they're going to make it in the world is going to be based on whether or not they can work yeah. in a team. But if you're in the middle of a test and you put your heads together, that's called cheating. Right. It's jacked up. and That's, that's, that's completely opposite. We're putting our heads together. We're changing more lives. <laughs> exactly. So what the heck? We're not cheating. We're helping more people. It's, exponent, it's, it's one plus one stops being two. One plus one now is 37 Absolutely. because both of our impact. It is. And that's why I'm so fired up about education. I mean, you know me, my plug for my own school. T and yeah. I co-founded an online school. It's three through 12th grade. It's fully accredited. Because I'm done with the system. Exactly. I'm right. done putting my kids into the system. If you guys want info, you can go to valorglobalonline.org and uh, you can find out more info. But it's it's the truth. It's like in today's world, stop. You know, we want everyone to be together. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry. Do things on your own. Don't cheat. Don't look over. But then the rest of life, you're supposed to play well with others. Yeah. You have to. You, you have to. T- it's teamwork. Doesn't play well with others. Doesn't this. Doesn't that. No. You you have to learn how to build one another. That's why one of my big things is. Always push power towards power. Right. So many people try to diminish power. Oh, that, that'd be like me. Like right when normally an influencer meets another influencer, they're like, oh, I don't really like him because he does this. Oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, I don't this. No, how can you go help him? Right. That, what, can you imagine if we all thought that? Then I wouldn't have to look over my back because I have 9 billion people watching my back. If everyone said, how can I push power towards power? And you know what? That's why two years ago when I met you at Grant Cardone's conference, I was like, dude, this guy's different. You and Caleb run to a different beat, mm-hmm. and um, and I think you know that's why I don't want to sit here and you know stroke each other, but why not for a second? <laughs> it's pretty cool to 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 be in partnership with Absolutely. you and to do this event. I mean, it's getting louder in here. Massive momentum is about ready to get wild. People are filing in, so you're hearing the background noise. But um, it's exciting because we're going to do some big things. We are doing big things Absolutely. together right now. But I just can't wait to see the lives that the eyes that get wide open mm-hmm. tonight that realize that you know what. God does have for, more for me, and a, I can do a million, it. And, and the thing that I think is a great thing is because there's so many mo- models where people say you make it because that someone stays home and does all of this stuff and the other person brings home the bacon. And I think it's absolutely incredible what you and your wife are, are out there. And, like, to be honest with you, we're anomalies. There's not a lot of people who are husband and wife going out there to try to change lives, run their business together, run their lives truly together, the integrated life. Right. Another great, I'm just saying, you can learn a lot more about this at Church Boy to Millionaire. You <laughs> should get the book on all forms like I did because, number one, he's my buddy and I want to support him. But number two, it actually is, it's, and if anybody who knows me, and if you, if you, don't, if you don't know me, I will literally, I'll screenshot my Audible account and my iBooks account and then everything that I, I bought before I knew that I could get it in a streaming format. I have over probably 1400 books this book is in my top five Mm. i'm telling you you like and i know that it's your story and i know that you like and i sent you that audio message dude i I, know that's what i was just gonna bring up i was i was blown away like i just i had so much on my heart because i'm like i'm like dude when whenever whenever you get to the point where you're just like okay people don't get it or people don't this or people don't that because the world obviously is not in the smartest place i was like just don't quit do not quit yeah. because I'm telling you once, and you guys are going to understand what I'm talking about when you get the book. Yeah. Like get, I'm telling you, and and I'll tell you right now, the first, uh, the first ten people who comment uh, below, um, 
I'm just, I will buy a book and I'll send it to you. And, and I might even send it to him first and get a little signature. Come on, some yeah, extra hookup. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm telling you, this, it's, it's so different because you start understanding what's possible. You do. And you have to understand what's possible. And that's the thing. I wrote the book for literally, I, I wrote the book that somebody would, would, I wish somebody would have given me mm. 10 years ago because I was, in a, I was a hot mess. I wasn't even hot. I was a big old mess. <laughs> a big old mess. I was just a big old mess. <laughs> and, and, and literally... I, I wanted to write it for someone who's never wrote a book or read a book before yeah. that isn't used to that, that just is ready to quit on their marriage, their business, their life, their faith. And, and, and really I opened my, I'm not trying to put myself out there, but I, I literally opened my life up to where you could see the pains, the cries of yeah. a husband, of a father, of a businessman that feels like he's losing all. He's getting goosebumps right here. No, I am. Come on. Yeah, That's no, the, I am. Just I, so you know what the oh, goosebumps just happened on me too. The goosebumps yeah. is the, is God's tuning yeah. fork going off in your heart saying that what is, what's coming out of your yep. face and what's coming into your ears is true. Yeah, I don't make crap up. And, man. and, and he doesn't. He, he doesn't know how to. He, no. he, he's, he's, he's done with that. I'm done with that. That's why, like, I'm excited. And I'm telling you, the book has already, and, I mean, I had an employee come to me. And she looked at me, and she goes, she goes, in this company, is there any way that we can get a circle of truth? Mm-hmm. Just to where, no matter what, we come there, and we can start, like, really speaking right. truth so that, like, no one's thinking this, that, and the other. And I thought that was so powerful. And I said, Church Board of Millionaires? She said, you know it. <laughs> That's so, right. So I'm telling you, we probably should get, get to the, the event, but I'm telling you, massive momentum. If you're in one of these cities that he's coming to, he's got 15 more dates. 15 more. So he's, he's, going, he's going after it. We're and rolling out to Tulsa tomorrow morning. There and you then, go. But go on to MassiveMomentumTour.com. Find out where we're going. We're going to be all over the Midwest, the East Coast, the South. Uh, it's going to be awesome. You know, and, and I'm just going to put him out there. I'm going to start. I'm just going to start. Uh, drop in hints uh in february he's tentatively thinking about putting a big conference on which he needs to do because he can really change lives um so i'm just saying if 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 you start maybe ac- accidentally putting like don't put anything on your calendar in february so that you might end up in arizona change your life even more uh he, he he's an incredible person it's gonna it's gonna be good and it's gonna be big and tonight's gonna be good and Greg, I'm excited. We're gonna have some yeah, fun tonight. It's gonna be good. And really, just um, I just I just really have been praying for tonight that God would just um, do some big things in some marriages, some lives, and yes. some businesses that needs their their eyes um, open to get into action. Yeah, and that's what tonight's about. So, awesome. bro, let's action. go do it. All right, man, dude, let's make it happen. Let's. Uh, oh, I don't remember. I think. Oh, oh I got yeah. it right. Come there on, it man. Is. What? Real thugs wood ain't even hit his prime yet. Unplugged yeah, with man. a millionaire mindset. Come on, yeah, man. Church boy, through a millionaire. Get there. Yeah, I'm going to go change into something that makes me look better. Still going? The final percent. Massive momentum. The final percent.